This is the third and final Getting Started video for Venue Magic that is devoted specifically to the Envelope Editor. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Envelope Editor to select colors for an RGB fixture. First of all, I'm going to assume that you already know that an RGB fixture is one that includes three DMX channels that combine red, green, and blue colored lights to form a specific color. First, let's go to our Add Fixtures window. and bring over a generic RGB lamp. Double-click on the fixture to open the Edit Fixture Settings window. Here we can rename the fixture and individual channels if we like. This window will also let us test each channel. If the fixture is connected and properly set up, moving this slider will adjust the level of the selected channel. Now let's drag the fixture into an empty track and into the lamp preview window. You'll notice that even though the RGB fixture has three separate channels, it appears in the lamp preview window as a single lamp with a gold ring rather than a silver one. Next, drag over a level control effect and open the envelope editor. By the way, you can do this by double clicking on the level control effect. Since most operations with a level control effect involve the envelope editor, a double click opens the envelope editor rather than the properties window. This shortcut only applies to level control clips. Double clicking on any other type of clip will always open the properties window for that clip. As you can see, there are three envelopes here. One for red, green, and blue. All of them are grouped together in a parent folder called RGB. If I select that folder, something new happens. The area here is called the color bar, and it shows the actual color that results from mixing the red, green, and blue channels together. If I double click in the color bar, two things happen. First, a color handle is added. Next, a snapshot is taken of the current red, green, and blue levels, and these little triangular handles are created on each line. As you can see, these new handles are locked to the color handle. As you drag the triangular handles up and down, you can see the colors change in the color bar. You cannot move these handles left and right because they're locked to the color handle. Now, Here's the fun part. Double click on the color handle and you get a color selector. Pick a color and the red, green, and blue handles are adjusted to give you that color. You can add as many color handles as you like. Delete them by right clicking on one and selecting delete. Please notice that the color bar and color handles are visible only when the RGB folder is selected. If I select one of the individual channels, the color handles disappear. The triangle handles remain, but they're still locked to the invisible color handle. Even though the RGB channels are locked at this time by a color handle, you can still add normal envelope handles at other places on the envelope. The endpoints of the envelopes are handled a little differently. Since endpoints cannot be removed, the only way to get a color handle there is to right-click on the RGB folder and select one of these options. You can see that the endpoints have been turned into color handles and work the same way as other handles. Turn them back to normal handles by right-clicking and unchecking the options. In the last few videos, we've covered just a fraction of what the envelope editor can do. For more information, you can look at the help documentation or watch for future videos about the subject.